Welcome to Music Matters number 13, on the 13th video in COVID times. We have had a great deal with this instrument, a 19th century American concert band. We've had chamber music. Um, we've had some Latin music and whatnot, but now we're turning to Bach, Chopin, Shostakovich, what they may have had in common, drawing them together in a program that Michael Bauman calls Affinity. Um, and I forgot to introduce myself, my name is Christopher Greenman. We are here with Michael Bama, who plays not only piano, but other instruments he'll be talking about shortly, we hope. Uh, Michael, what drew you into the idea of affinity, these three composers drawing on well-tempered clavier one and the circle of fifths and other themes? Well, it's a long project. I noticed that there's so many similarities between composers and so I started to explore if it could be built into a program and also interested me to find out to what extent it's planned or programmed or to what extent it might have just happened organically. In other words, an organic opening. In opening, well, and a transfer of knowledge and culture through the centuries without actually trying to copy somebody. And the music is from three centuries, centuries in yeah. three countries. Yes. And three different instruments, too. Yes. So, and some things just survive, despite the differences in topic and language or place and one of the things that struck me when you played some excerpts of this in October when we discussed this program um, was your comfort in the middle forte regions going down into these inward depths, this smaller dynamic. And I found that the most fetching, aside from the compositional aspects, the quietness and the, the lack of bluster uh, sold the program very quickly to me as an idea worth, uh, worth having our listeners listen to. But it also uh, redefined the concert expectations. It is possible to program quietly and with one's sensitivity. Uh, Blaster was never anything that I was comfortable with. First of all, my technical abilities are limited since I started when I was only 14. So big office was never my, my thing and what I'm trying to bring out is the beauty, voice singing is very important for me. I noticed uh, especially that you were voicing so much of it, whether it was Bach, Chopin, Shostakovich, vocally, yes. with something that is possible on a 19th century instrument. Mm -hmm which is a different dynamic and a different expressivity assigned to each voice. Mm -hmm. Did, and, um, and it was beautiful to play on this instrument, this program. Well, it's an 1886 chicorine that lives here at Magrua and uh, I played this, this program in January of this year on an 1892 chicorine, which I used to own and then sold to the church where I'm in music to practice. So. Another full circle. Yes. Um, if Affinity is the title of your program, um, it is building a bridge, it is connecting that uh, you wanted to use in the subtitle. Mm -hmm. And I felt that as we recorded each pair of pieces, uh, how did you build them through their keys? Because it's not an obvious circle of fifths progression. Well, I try to make a connection between the endings of the pieces and the beginnings of the next piece, or also the beginning of the program and then the end of the program first. For instance, the first two notes of the program are these. And the last two notes of the program are also those two ends from Shostakovich. And then, of course, the most obvious are the use of themes and pretty much using the same notes in the short band. And in the Bach, they're exactly the same notes. But not only the same notes, they also inhabit the same musical world, emotional world. And it is a very emotional world. 
Okay. Or in, for instance, in the case of the A minor prelude, Shostakovich uses the same. It just transposes the upper E to, to the lower one. And otherwise, it's exactly the same thing. I thoroughly enjoyed listening while we recorded to the great breadth of uh, expressive personal language each composer brought to it. And mm -hmm. the thought struck that uh, we are hearing one or two well-known pieces from the Wilhelm mm -hmm. Revere, but not necessarily the most famous, except mm -hmm. for the beginning. Um, but we don't often hear much of the Shostakovich collection of preludes and mm -hmm. fugues also through the keys. And Chopin's explorations of the various keys have been talked about, but have, they have rarely appeared on stage. Mm -hmm. And I think binding these together makes a very uh, organic, lean, appealing, uh, intimate program. Yeah. Of a kind All three uh, composed a set of 24 preludes. And, and Chopin didn't write any fugues, but just a question about those preludes and fugues. Well, we look forward to inviting you back here for another thought-provoking concert program, uh, perhaps before a live audience. We are told that those will come to be once again. Thank you very much for joining us, and enjoy your show.